Hello. In this video, we'll walk through creating a data source to target River using the Facebook Social Connector in Rivery. First, let's open up a data source to target River. In short, a data source to target River will ingest data from whichever source API or connector we choose and dump that into our cloud data warehouse or target. First, we'll name the River. I'll call it FB Data. And then I'll go into my source step where I can choose what source I want to connect to. So in this case, I will search for my Facebook social connector and select that. Now, first I have to establish a source connection. In this case, I already have one. I can select them from the drop down. If not, I can go ahead and create a new one where I would just need to log in to Facebook with my credentials. So in this case, I'll use our existing connection and I can click into the page window to see what pages I have access to. I'll click that account and then moving down, I will go into my pages fields. So this is where I can select certain page attributes that I want to bring into my data set. So for this example, I'll do category. Now this connector has four different reports, including feed data as well as various levels of insights data. For this example, I will do insights page. And now I'll select a couple metrics. I'll take page impressions. I'll take maybe some organic impressions. I want my data to be at the daily level. And then I'll select a date range. I'll do my previous week. Now I'll go to my target step, which is defining where I want this data to end up. Uh, in this case, I will click Snowflake. Again, I'll see if I have some connections already made. I'll choose one called My Snowflake. If I didn't, or if I wanted to create a new one, I could again create a new connection. And this would require just some information about my Snowflake account. Next, I need to define which database, schema, and table I want to load my data into. Once I have these values set, I can choose a loading mode. So this is whether I want to append an ex existing table, upsert merge using an established key, or overwrite an existing table, or create a new one using overwrite. So in this case, I'll use overwrite to create a new table. Then I'll go ahead to the next step, which is mapping my columns. Here I can auto map my fields, meaning I don't have to manually input the fields in my schema. Rivery will detect those from whatever I put in my source step. So you can see we have category and we have the two impressions metrics that we selected as well. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and run this river. You'll see at the bottom, we can see our progress. So firstly, the river uh, will load the data into our file zone and then into our Snowflake table. All right, that run was successful. So there you have it. That is a data source of target river, pulling data from Facebook social and landing in Snowflake.